I got six of the best Apple headphones that are mainly used in the gym and I'm gonna be telling you which one you should buy in 2024. So what's going on YouTube? Back at again with another video today. It's Alpha Lad and today I'm gonna bring a special video for you guys today. Right off the bat, we're gonna be starting with our first category. Now this one's gonna be very straightforward and I'm just gonna be telling you guys the prices for each of the options that I have here. And as we go into the net other categories, I'll go into more detail about each product that we have in front of us. So the first product that we have is the AirPods first generation. Let me go ahead and show that to you guys. Here it is, the first generation. These are $99. The second product that we have here is the AirPods third generation. Let me go ahead and show that as well. These are the third generations right here and these are priced at $169. And then we of course have the AirPods Pro. These are gonna be running you $250. We have the Beats Studio 3. I'll go ahead and open those so you can see it. The Beats Studio 3 are gonna be running you $160. So I'll go ahead and just show that to you real quickly. There it is. Next headphone that we have is the Beats Studio Pro and now the Beats Studio Pro are going to be $250 and I'll go ahead and show those as well so you can quickly see them and then of course we have our final option which is the AirPods Maxes and these are going to be running you $500 okay so the second category we're going to be going over is the futures of and battery life of each product that I have in front of me. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the AirPods first generation. These are the ones that change the game in terms of when it comes to wiring and in the gym. I think when these first came out, I definitely had a pair of, for me and the sound quality was great and it got rid of the most annoying thing, which was cables, because as you'd be working out and moving around, sometimes your cables would be caught in the gym equipment, whether that be dumbbell or machines. So I think these were great at the time. I don't use them anymore because I do have all their options. But if, if you're somebody who isn't really interested in investing that much money, or you're somebody that also probably loses your headphones a lot, I guess, then this would be a great option for you because you're still getting amazing quality. You're still getting good features and it also provides five hours of battery life when you have them on if you do have it in the case it does allow you to have 24 hours of additional charging so the case alone you get 24 hours of battery life and if you take them out and have them on you get five hours which i think is pretty good for the price point of a hundred dollars in 2024 it doesn't get any better than that okay so the next thing we're going to be going over is the airpods third generation now these are great a great option if you're looking to get something in between the pros and also the first generation now these offer six hours of battery life if you do have them in your ears and also the case itself offers 30 hours which is a slight improvement from the first generation so if your headphones are dead and uh, you need to charge them you can have them in here for five minutes and that's already an hour of charging which is a game changer in my opinion if you're somebody who constantly forgets to charge their airpods now we're going to be going into the airpods pro and this is going to be the top of the line airpods all the features that you get from the third gen you're also going to get in the airpods pro and more and i think the biggest game changer for a lot of people that go to the gym and they want a good listening music listening experience is going to be the noise cancellation the noise cancellation is offered in the airpods pros they're not offered in the other options so if that's something you want to get into definitely i would recommend to get the noise canceling airpods pro and the battery life is slightly improved you get anywhere between 30 to 34 hours which is not you know the biggest improvement in terms of from the third gen to the pros but you do get that extra quality of battery life and you also do get six hours of listening time if you just have them over your ear so the next product we're going to be talking about is the beats studio 3 and these were the previous generation two before the pros came out so for the features of this product you do get 22 hours of battery life which is honestly great uh, i did end up using these a lot and I went maybe like two or three days before I actually needed to consider charging my Beats 
So these are great if you're somebody who doesn't like to charge their headphones and also loves the over ear experience. Um, it also has adapted noise cancellation, which pretty much just means that it has a certain level of noise canceling because it's over the ear, but it doesn't have noise canceling like quite like the AirPods. That would be the only difference between the earbuds. The earbuds, while they do offer a great battery life experience if you have them in your ears, they are gonna need to be put back into the case after probably one day, maybe two days max of the of working out in my opinion. But with these, uh, I would be using them and I wouldn't have to charge them. Until. And then now we're gonna be jumping into the Beats Studio Pros. Now the Beats Studio Pros are great. Let me go ahead and take them out again so you guys can see them. These are the current lineup that Beats has in terms of over ears. And these are the ones that a lot of people I see in the gym at least using. And if they're not using these and they're using the older generation, they're not very much different, but they do have a lot, in terms of like design, they're very similar, but um, they do have a lot more features that I think they did improve on. And starting off first, the battery life, it's great. These are doubled. You get 40 hours of battery life, which is great. So honestly, when I be using these, I don't really have to think about charging these until maybe five days of working out. Cause I usually, my gym sessions are usually about an hour and 30 minutes to two hours. So, it, it does handle well, I don't really have to charge it much, and it also is USB-C, so the charging is extremely quickly. You can probably get at least maybe one or two hours of charging from just a 10 minute charge. So these are definitely great, and they also do offer noise cancellation and also transparency mode. So that's another great feature, just like the AirPods Pro that have noise cancellation and transparency mode, these also have it. The old, older Beats generation, they do come in a hard shell case, and this is more of a soft texture, which is honestly all right. I mean, I do prefer the hard shell. It looks much more premium versus the Beats, but if you're somebody who doesn't really, you know, use the casing, then it doesn't really matter. But I did want to point that out. The other thing I wanted to point out that I didn't mention is that they both have a button to where you can answer calls, pick up Siri, or also um, change the song. So they do have a button for that and you can just tap it and the, you'll get those kind of commands depending on how many times you press that button. So again, that was the Beat Studio Pros and the Beat Studio 3s. And now we're gonna be going into the most premium option which is gonna be the AirPods Max. So these are the AirPods Max and these come in a nice little case to where if you put it here, the AirPods will automatically turn off by themselves. This is the color I went with. They have different colorways and I like to think of these as basically AirPods Pro but with an over ear experience. Um, I do see a lot of people using this option in the gym and also the Beats and occasionally I'll see a group of people using the earbuds as well. They basically have the same features in terms of noise cancellation, they have transparency mode, they have spatial audio and the quality of the sound is great. It does have 20 hours of battery life. So. Okay, so to not waste any of your time, if you wanna know exactly by categories as to which I think are the best, noise cancellation, definitely gonna go with the AirPods Maxes. These are the best. If you don't want a premium option and we take these out of the equation, then I would definitely say that the AirPods Pros have the best noise cancellation. In terms of sound clarity, I'm gonna have to give it to the Studio Pros and also the AirPods Pro Max. I think both sound in incredible in terms of, you know, how good the sound quality is. And I'm, I'm obviously factoring out the AirPods Maxes because these are the more premium option. But if you do have the money to get these, I mean, you can. If we're gonna go based on how loud the options are, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give it to either the third generation the AirPods Pro or the Beats Studio 3s. So these are the ones that I noticed the most that sounded the loudest. I think the the if you're looking for just pure loudness and how loud they these options can sound, then I think either of these three are, are good options for you. They all sound great and I'm kind of just trying to narrow it down to what the key things that I noticed between trying all these out with the same song. Now we're gonna get into the final section, which is gonna be my final thoughts. 
and this is pretty much where I wrap it up and give you, in my opinion, what would be the best option for you. And the first thing is, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the worst option in this is actually gonna be the AirPods Maxes. For me, I think, while wow, what they offer is great, they're just way too expensive. I don't think these should be headphones that you should be using in the gym, especially because it's a very proactive environment. They honestly, when you have it over your head, they're not very, they're not that secure. You can, they can fall off really easily if you're moving around very, very quickly. If you're somebody that does sweat a lot too, it could end up messing the material from the inside. So, to, to me, if these are better to use for anything outside of the gym, so everyday experiences, you know, when you're out and about at work um, with some friends, you're on an airplane, you're traveling, these would be really good for for the, the sound experience. But for me, the gym, I just don't think they're the best option. So I'm going to go ahead and factor these out as the worst for gym, uh, good gym headphones. Now, this is where it gets really, really hard. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all <laughs> because if I could have all of you here and have the have you try on all of these, I feel like you wouldn't be able to tell that much of a difference. But after everything I've talked about, um, assuming that you know you're not gonna you're not gonna go with the cheapest option, so we're gonna go ahead and take that one out too. I would have to give the best to I would have to give the best to the AirPods Pro and the Beats Studio Pro. It's just, these two offer different experiences. If you want something that's very, very sharp and has good bass, go with the Pros. And if, if you're a person who doesn't really uh, like your headphones to be like slipping off, even though with the Beats, they they won't slip off again. Let me put them on again so y'all can see. Like, they won't slip off as easy as the AirPods Maxes. But these are pretty much, these are not coming out of your ear unless you want them to. So if that's a big factor for you, then I would get, definitely go with the AirPods Pro. But to me, I just think the Studio Pros are the superior headphones over the AirPods Pro Maxes. Mainly because I feel like these are more built for the gym. They're very durable, they're very comfortable. And I know sometimes a lot of people might find discomfort after wearing earbuds for a while. And uh, all the features that they have to offer, it's very balanced out. And you can, again, flip through noise cancellation, transparency mode. Uh, they ha also have spatial audio as well. So it's, it's, it's great. And you can also charge it with USB-C. So it's very good and i think one of the biggest highlights is also the battery life so i would say that for 2024 the best option that you can get is definitely going to be the beat the beat studio pros if if you're more of an earbud kind of person airpods pro all the way uh, thank you guys so much for watching that's going to go that's going to be the end of the video um, i hope i was able to at least kind of give you a better insight and a better uh, and give you a better guide and direction as to which pair of headphones or earbuds you're gonna go with and I hope this video was informative guys if you can please make sure to hit that like button subscribe and comment let me know if you have any questions about these headphones I can help you guys make a better decision if you have any further questions be a city stay determined stay motivated let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see in this channel I do have a lot more content coming up for you guys that's gonna be completely different than what we've done so I'm excited for that if there's gonna be some very fun videos that we're gonna do it's not just gonna be be just reviews but yeah if you have anything else that you guys would want me to review go ahead and drop a comment let me know so that way i can work on trying to get that video out for y'all but yeah that's gonna be the end of the video thank you so much for watching